Egg down, baby. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> down. Alrighty, we've just spent the last three hours bashing up through the bush uh, to reach these, these pretty beautiful tops here behind us. Um, we're fully off track this trip, so hopefully we're going to be into an area that's got a little bit less hunting pressure and might hold some older animals, eh? Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, we decided to have a crack on lightweight for once. <laughs> Sick of carrying heavy packs around. Um, it may not look like it, but yeah, we've got 48 litre packs here as opposed to 100 litre pack, so yeah. Gonna spend the next few days, hopefully trying to find a big donkey stag, and yeah. Mm. Should we good, buddy? Yes, pretty stunning looking country, so yeah. Hope you find a stag, uh, maybe a chamois, but main objective is just to fly camp on the tops and have a good time. <laughs> it's not the animals I was hoping to see, eh? Meh! Dushka. It wasn't bad, pal. It wasn't bad at all. Oh. Well, boys weren't quite paying attention then. Uh, spooked that chamois. Like kind of a decent one on the camera, but that's all right. We're here for a stag. Um, we're just going to keep carrying on here, pop over the top, and start with the camp. Uh, it's pretty prime type of hunting now. You move from here on, here on out, so yeah. Fingers crossed, eh? Just going to knock over a stag on day one, buddy. <laughs> this looks alright, surely. Yeah, bloody oath. That's a cloud. Camp is night. Which is first night fly camping. Have the news, bud. First planned night fly camping. Right, we set up camp for tonight. She's looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, we'll see if we're still happy with it at 2 o'clock in the morning. But uh, <laughs> for now, it's about 8 pm, so we're just going to head over to the saddle over here. And uh, yeah, poke your heads over. Hopefully there's a big old staggy on the other That's side, right, eh? Say. Let's do it. Yeah, unfortunately no luck on the animals tonight. Um, you didn't even see a thing, so... It's alright, it's just sort of the tip of the iceberg. We've got... I think it's about 12 k's of tops that we can hunt over the next four days, so... Hopefully we'll pick something up later on in the trip. But yeah, really happy how the weed camp set up here and it's just a, a gorgeous night. It's just stars are out, so I'm gonna tuck into a hot meal and then call it a night for a nice early start tomorrow and hopefully pick up a deer. It was an interesting night's sleep, if you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely learned a couple of lessons on how to maybe do it a bit better tonight, but yeah, uh, morning hunt this morning was, was pretty quiet. Uh, still no deer about, picked up a couple of chamois, but yeah, we've got heaps of country left to cover. I'm gonna pack up in a minute and start working away along the tops. Um, we're hunting a new area uh, as, we, as we do pretty much every trip, so 
when we're not spotting animals, sort of your nerves get up a little bit, but <laughs> our plan is to just cover a lot of area, look into a lot of different catchments and hopefully start finding those pockets of animals, um, rather than spend heaps of time just looking at one area. Yeah, we've got no idea if they're here and where they might be. Yep. Yeah, nah, sounds good to me, eh? So we'll pack up and raise on out of here. Bloody good. Let's do it. Gonna point in right out for us, buddy. Well, I'm gonna carry on down here, make way along here, go to the right, and just, yeah, keep following these tops. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah, I think so. And our target for the end of the trip is like, that's that tallest peak you can see, way off. Right, so boys just set up camp. Uh, pretty basic shelter, just your average kind of A-frame. Uh, really easy to set up. Just got two walking poles at either end, and you peg these out as far as you can, and then tie the corners down. Um, pretty basic, but it's all you really need. Uh, it's always a good idea as well to see what the weather's gonna do and try and account for that. We might have possibly have some weather coming from this away, so yeah. Hopefully this is enough to protect us and we've also pushed our matches back as far as possible. And then on the inside here, uh, we just got a ground mat from my tent. Uh, it wasn't quite big enough to fit the both of our mats on here, so we've put it sideways and we've got these pack covers here, which we've just put on our sleeping mats to protect those from uh, any sharp objects. Uh, one thing we did learn last night is you should never put your sleeping bag inside this too. Uh, it's nice and tight and pretty warm to start with, but uh, it actually condensates and you yeah, woke up about 4 30 this morning with some wet sleeping bags, so yeah. Good to have them on the outside of this to protect this, but um, yeah, just put your sleeping, mat, uh, your sleeping bag on top, so uh, yeah. Luckily, we've just been given these great Domex sleeping bags. Uh, this is a super light, which is perfect for our lightweight trip, and uh, it's actually got some, uh, it's been treated with, fuck! Yeah, the sleeping bag is filled with Nip Wax Hydrophobic Down. This means the down filling has been treated by Nip Wax to give it a durable, uh, waterproof repellent coating, uh, which pretty much just stops it from absorbing any moisture and it should still um, hold your heat, which is yeah, kind of ideal when you fly camping in conditions that are not always favourable. Stag of the trap, your yeah, boy. He's not quite long after, he's probably a little bit young, but so good to sign this <laughs> stag. Finally, we've been hunting out for this. Hopefully, there's some more in the area. I'm just gonna sit here for the evening. We've got such a good posse. It's good to see that fully stripped though. Now we're here. Oh wow, let's look at us. Oh, it doesn't look like a bad sham ready. Oh, hold on. 
Nah, bro, it's a, it's a, it's a dove. <laughs> it's got a f***ing kid off to the right. <laughs> it's lucky. Real lucky. Yeah, no, that's a doe. Shimmy hunting, eh? <laughs> Not easy. Yeah, I don't think the bugs are... Yeah. Turn his head a bit. No, not so. Nah. No. Like he's he's close. He's got a lot of length to him, but his times haven't really developed. Doesn't have heaps of weight on him. Oh, it's so good to be seeing stags. <laughs> it's all building up towards that meadow, mate. Ain't it? So just those four stags in the end. There's three younger ones and one like, a bit, bit close to the middle age, a bit older, but still not quite the old thumper after this trip. Um, bloody awesome to be seeing stags though. That's such a relief. <laughs> Getting a bit worried. <laughs> um, bit of time left in the morning, so we're going to carry on up over this next ridge. Uh, there's another one of these head basins quite similar over the top, so go park up there for some brekkie and hopefully find some more stags, eh? Right, the boys have spent the last few hours coming across these tops. Uh, pretty excited morning this morning. I just saw some animals, with some men. Um, now we're just going to try and find camp for tonight. We want to camp in this general area and uh, 
Mitch has got a wee clearing he's been looking at for the last couple of years on Topo, so that could be us tonight, I think. Bloody, I've been dreaming about this spot. <laughs> but the more pressing issue is finding somewhere flat amongst this. Few and far between around here. And it looked like some pretty heavy rain off in the distance, so hopefully that doesn't make it here. Room with a view. Oh my god. You pay good money for this, you know. Ready still the last of the fly maintenance, thanks buddy. No worries. Like you're doing a good job from down here. Tell you tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'll tell you if I can tell you or something. <laughs> Not bad, buddy. Not bad at all. So, just over the saddle, there's like two years worth of anticipation. <laughs> I spotted this place on the topo map a couple of years ago, and over the saddle is hopefully a really nice mountain meadow right on the top of this like hanging valley. So, I've been like manifesting this big old stag in there. So, we're gonna pop over. Big old donk's gonna be there, Raddy's gonna nail him. Let's go. So excited. It's taken us all of 20 seconds to spot the stag up over here and another deer up in the scrub, so surely there's a monster in here. I'm so Mitch excited. is about to cry, so <laughs> happy. <laughs> That's obviously where he's going to look his best. So he's probably twice the length of his head. So I'd say he's pushing up to like 35. He's got pretty fit, like pretty fiddled out beams. I can't tell the tines are this far off. But they look kind of long, eh? Like yeah. those. Yeah. That's simple anyway. And then looking at his body, like he's seems relatively filled out in the legs. He's feeding the moment, so I can't really. Say if his neck's hanging low, but sort of got that like almost saggy neck mm. of an older animal. Doesn't hold his head up super high. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> so, let me go get a closer look at that stag. Uh, it's definitely showing a bit of promise. I'm not 100% sold yet. Oh, he's worth a closer look, <laughs> for sure. He's got a lot of length to him. Plan is going to drop over the other side, head around this big peak, and hopefully get a look from above. Let's go, bud. Getting close, but we still go further. It's like, I can't see it either. <laughs> So Raddy's all set up. Uh, they range at 200 metres away. <laughs> the only problem is they're bloody fighting. So he needs him to sit still and get a broadside shot up. They're pretty active. <laughs>
shot. Shot. Bro. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm chuffed, man. No, bloody good, bro. Oh, boys mate. were pretty half there, eh? Well, yeah. Cheers, bud. Hey, mate, you swear. Mate, you manifested it. May not be a 14 inch, a 14 point bar. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, let's fucking go. <laughs> well, here he is. Uh, absolutely stoked, day. Eh? They couldn't have worked out much better. Always kind of spotted him from over on that saddle there. Snuck away around the back and yeah, everything worked out mean. The sun was perfect, the wind was perfect, as I said, everything worked in our favour. Absolutely stoked. Um, yeah, the boys worked pretty hard the last few days. Um, been beating the feet a wee bit and had some pretty horrific sleeping conditions, but um, it's all part of the fun, eh? And yeah, when you shoot one, it just makes it all worthwhile. So yeah, I think we'll take the head and uh, head on back to camp, eh? Sounds good to me, man. <laughs> Bloody oh, congratulations, bro. Cheers, mate. Bloody mean stag for the area, bro. That's by far the best thing we've seen. Yeah, for sure. Work it, bro. Fucking and what a spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the size of his body. Honestly, I've never seen a deer this big. The thing about shooting stags in February is they have in the best condition you'll ever see them. Like, this looks like about an inch thick of fat along the back stake. It's gonna be some good chewing, ready? Very good chewing. Buddy. <laughs> it's the biggest bag I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Good on that thing. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? That Bro, that's one massive back sack. That's honestly your head to your knees just yeah. about. And I left some on there too. <laughs> Crazy. Cute. It's gonna be some real good eating, eh? <laughs> Still feeling lightweight, pal? It's actually pretty good, I don't know why. Nice. It's great news. <sighs> Massive. Hope none of those come in our sleeping bag tonight, pal. Huge. There's another next to our camp. Yeah. <laughs> Waking up with one of those crawling on, yeah. Like it might be another damp night in the sleeping bag, pal. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Twelve thirty, buddy. <laughs> Dinner, <you>? eh? <laughs> Unreal. Right, so back out here again, uh, a little bit colder now, filming episode 12 of our upcoming series. Um, thought we'd do for each episode a wee giveaway, um, I'm just going to let you know what that is now. Yeah, so in each video um, you're going to see a code pop up, like this one here. Um, when you see that, you're going to note it down and jump over to either a Facebook or Instagram, and we're going to have a post up from the same day the video comes out. And just comment on that post, the um, code word, and you're in the draw to win. So there's a few T's and C's that will let you know in, in the post as well, but pretty much just make sure you like and follow our Facebook and Instagram and also uh, the sponsor that's attributed with the giveaway. So massive thanks to the sponsors for donating some products to give away. Uh, really lucky to be able to share that with you guys. We're always decked out in great kit, so no, bloody good. And uh, this giveaway, we're going to be giving away one of these twin needle flies that we've been living out of for the last week. So now some worker prizes and yeah, get into it guys. Cheers. Today, pretty much going to be following these tops around here, all the way to the heat of the basin pretty much, and on the other side of these two big peaks behind those clouds. <laughs> this is where the biv is, and hopefully that's where camp is tonight. If Ooh. we make it. F*** out somewhere and protect the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big day bro. <laughs>
I do think you'll be running like a real honest update on how today's going. <laughs> Pretty shit to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been alright, it's just been a fucking battle. Rids has been up and down constantly, getting bluffed out all the time. We've got a big fuck off hill to climb. <laughs> today's been shit out, I'm fucking over. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. We've got to get up and over that. And home's on the other side of that saddle somewhere. But it's man, yeah, we just ran out of water. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, nearly there. We got a stag. Life's good. Oh my god. Oh, thank God for that. That's one problem solved. Yeah. Next problem's gonna take a while. <laughs> we'll get there. Well, second problem solved. <laughs> we're just gonna climb the hill tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Along with our marathon back to the truck. <laughs> yeah, we just got to weather forecast the rain that's meant to come in tonight and tomorrow. Apparently, isn't going to come in. So, <laughs> we're going to come down here. <laughs> Saves us walking to a berm and then walking back again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a long play move. It's sensible. It's last fucking how good this. <laughs> Well, that pretty much wraps up a pretty crazy five days. Um, boy started way out the back of here five days ago and traversed this pretty epic range. Um, managed to make it to Mitch's uh, golden clearing and <laughs> yeah, ended up paying out the goods. Um, yeah, it's been fun being lightweight too, eh, bud? Have you found it? Yeah, oh, it's been so much better. I don't know if I would have survived the route with <laughs> yeah. the full pack, but um, no, this is pretty much us guys. We've got about six or seven hours left to get to the road end, but we're just gonna try to smash it out and then we dropped some running shoes off uh, and then left the truck at the other end of the range. So, worked out it's a 40k run. <laughs> so, one, of us is, on maps, yeah, one of us is maybe going to run a marathon at the end of the trip, but now we're hoping for a hit truck. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> Look, so much for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, check out our breakdown of our lightweight gear if you want. That'll be linked below. Yeah, beauty. Hope you enjoyed it because we did. You. <laughs>